I have a strict policy when it comes to trolls. I troll back, but harder. Now, a lot of people tell me this is a waste of time, but if you think about it, so is beating off. I enjoy it. That's all the justification I need, but I also think that there's a value in occupying the trolls, keeping them busy. Look, there are plenty of serious atheists out there that are trying to engage with theists and have meaningful conversations that might sway them into a more rational worldview, and I'm just not one of them. So at the very least, I could keep the trolls at bay while they do that serious work. Of course, once in a while I get emails from religious people who have genuine questions and actually want an atheist's perspective on things, and when I get those emails I usually pass them along to other resources or members of the community with more interest in that kind of shit. Like I said, it's valuable stuff, but I don't have the patience to hold somebody's hand while they navigate their minefield of fallacious indoctrination. If they get through all that, I'm here for them through the fuck religion phase, but between now and then, you need somebody with a longer fuse than mine. Now, I guess I should feel guilty about this a bit, and in a sense, I do. I'm leaving other people to do all the important work while I just make dick jokes, but luckily, it's not a problem I encounter very often. Because for every one email I get from a genuinely curious theist, I get 800 from pamphlet-waving jackasses who are channeling their I-touched-my-wiener-again guilt through self-congratulatory, passive-aggressive, desperate apologetics aimed at the first Twitter handle with the word atheist in it. And of course, common internet wisdom would tell me to block them, ignore them, or respond once with a fuck you meme and be done with it. But telling Christian trolls to fuck off isn't just a guilty pleasure, it's my job. And it's only a waste of time if I don't share, so I'd like to present the following abridged version of an email conversation I had with a guy that we'll call Dick Mold McShitstain. Hi, Noah. I'm having really difficulty believing in your atheism cause because it seems to me that I would have to hand over my integrity and intellectual honesty to the security guy at the door of the atheism echo chamber. I say this because if atheism is true, it would seem to me that any atheistic belief that my brain may produce are merely just a random result of mindless, unguided, pointless cosmic accidents devoid of any real meaning of truth. If you please correct any flaws or honest misunderstandings on my part, I would mean a lot to me. Thanks in advance. Candidly yours, Dick Mold McShitstain. Sick. Dick Mold. Sorry, but I'm not one of those patiently explain the multiple layers of stupidity that undergird the brain-dead ramblings of a person who's made no effort to educate themselves type of atheists. I'm one of those go-fuck-yourself-and-read-a-book type of atheists. So, you know, go-fuck-yourself-and-read-a-book. Noah. Noah. When I came across your scathing pseudonym, I was looking forward to you being sharp and clever. Your reply is about as scathing and cutting as a wet bus ticket. Mind you, atheism is full of wannabes who try and hijack words by redefining them to suit their own agendas. It's clear you've tried to do the same to the word scathing. Candidly yours, Dick Mold McShitstain. Dick Mold. If you want the scathing bits, you have to listen to the show. If you leave a nugget of willfully ignorant brain shit in my inbox, all you get is me telling you to fuck off. P.S. I might need help with the analogy there. Is a wet bus ticket more or less scathing than a dry one? Noah. Thanks, buddy, but it's too late for the invitation because tiresome ad hominem vitriol from those with chips on their angry shoulders puts my own brain shit detector on high alert. I will instead keep reading more of the intellectually honest atheists who admit to the pointlessness of their existence. I'd be happy to admit to the pointlessness of your existence if that helps. Noah, I apologize if my initial approach riled you up to the extent that you responded in the way you did. It's just that I'm finding it difficult to track down an atheist who is intellectually honest with whom I can intellectually correspond with and exchange counterpoints in a civil and respectful manner. The more I search, the more and more I'm developing the gut feeling that the atheists I've been engaging with are those who choose not to reveal their true reasons as to what their purpose of their atheism belief really serves. In the absence of such reasons, I'm naturally left to conclude that the reasons for them being atheists are for emotional and selfish reasons. As someone who is not necessarily less selfish and emotional than the next guy, I totally sympathize when atheists choose to hide their agenda. Candidly yours, Dick Mold McShitstain. Sick. Dick mold. For the record, you don't need to reach out to me in any particular way for me to tell you to fuck off. I tell religious people to fuck off for a living, so don't you go taking any credit for my vitriol. I already had it when you showed up. Fuck off, Noah. P.S. Speaking of intellectual honesty, scroll back through this exchange and find an ad hominem from me. If you can spot one, I promise to believe in Jesus and mouthfuck a priest, or whatever you have to do to be Jesus these days. Noah. Well, at least with your tiresome vitriolic diatribes that slide right off of me, you've been consistent. I'll grant you that. It certainly reveals more about how you measure up as a real man. 
Oh, well, never mind. At least perhaps one day you might grow up into your own proud, boastful title. Dick Mold. You know, I should probably let you walk around with your dick out for a little bit longer, but I've got an honest piece of advice for you. When you decide to troll people, you probably want to turn off the automatic signature with your homework and cell phone numbers and your work address. Unless this is some kind of subconscious message that you want me to give your number out on the show to see if any of these intellectually honest atheists want to give you a call. Noah. Listen here, you godless motherfucker. If you even think about that the next time you hear from me, it will be through my lawyer. I'm sure you haven't accumulated anything in your life worth suing you over, but I'll assure you that I'll have whatever you have. Sick. Dick Mold. Do you have any relevant education in the field of turkey safety? <laughs>